uh, you know, there are so many A-list celebrities that don't have uh, an army of paparazzi following them like this. They live a lifestyle that doesn't inspire being chased. I think we need a mental health consultant here, and we have one, Stephanie Weiss. <laughs> and you're also a mother of three. I mean, don't you think Kim's cult of personality is asking for this? I do, but at the same time, she's a mom. I I just feel I feel bad for her. I think that she didn't she doesn't know what she's getting herself into years ago and now she has this baby and she just feels out of control. Listen, uh, I can't say I feel sorry for her. And I know uh, Dorothy, you probably I knew you were going to say that. But listen, the reality <laughs> TV queen announced her engagement to Kanye by posting this picture of her massive 15 karat rock for the world to see. We're going to show it to you. Uh, yeah, there's a rock coming up. There it is. 15 carats. And yet she insists she wants to live a private life now that she's a mom. She also took a photo of her uh, buta, a selfie, and, and posted that on Instagram. Uh, listen to this from Jay Leno. Why would I subject myself to so much negativity, especially now that, like, I have a daughter and I don't, I just don't need that energy. I'd rather be in a happy place when I'm home and I choose to go out, you know, with family and friends yeah. when I want to, but I've definitely tried to live like more of a private life because of that, because they were so nasty. Yeah. It's like, why even go out as much just to put yourself in that position? My dear friend, Dorothy Lucy, listen, come on. You want to live a private life, but you and your fiance are going on television every five minutes and you're posting well. a boot on Instagram? I, you know, I, I know Kim just a little, little bit, and I know her pre-Kanye, so I don't know her at all right now, but she's always been a very sweet girl, and I'm thinking, you're going to hate me for saying this, Jane, but she can't go to the bathroom, she can't take a pee without the paparazzi, and even if you want it, and even if you've made hundreds of millions of dollars because of it, it's got to get old, especially <laughs> when you could have your baby in the rolls Royce. And you know what, Jane? I can't believe she was speeding like that because I was trying to get here today to see you. There was so much traffic. <laughs> I don't want to sound like the Californians, but I, and I was just tweeting this. I don't know why you tweet the things that you actually want to keep to yourself. Somehow you tweet the most shameful things. I changed in my car today to get here. There was so much traffic. I oh, wow. Well, too bad we didn't get so. shots of that for the paparazzi. You could have made the news. It, Here's my rant. And it, you know what? I want to cut. I had a big long rant, but I'm just going to cut to the chase. Can we see the selfie of her buta? Because that to me says it all. I think we've got a picture, a selfie of her buta. And, and I got to say, uh, Wendy Walsh, you know, there she is doing a selfie of her buta and posting it on Instagram. Now, how can you do that and then say, oh, I want privacy when I want it? I, I just, I think that's hypocrisy. Well, I think it is hypocrisy, Jane, but more than anything, when I saw that picture, I saw new mother with an identity crisis. She's trying to figure out who she is. She's doing the blonde hair and the sexy thing with a five-month-old baby. She's supposed to be sitting under a tree nurse nursing that baby. I mean, come on. This is not the time to go back and be supermodel and sexy and sex pod. Of course, she wants to keep this husband around, so I guess she's trying that, thinks that'll work. But... Um, Kim, I have two words to say to you when you start speeding on the freeway. Princess Diana, all right? Slow down. They're not going to kill you with their cameras. Keep you and your baby safe, please. Well, again.